Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, we come before you this morning. We come before you with praise and thanksgiving. We, we, we glorify your name. We magnify your name because you have been with us all week as we were absent one from another and you have blessed us. We thank you so much for feeding us, clothing us. We thank you for keeping us in our right mind. And we thank you for this opportunity that we can come and worship you freely. We, ex we exalt your name, we magnify your name, we glorify you because you're good. We, 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 we thank you that in spite of ourselves, you're blessing us day after day, night after night. We thank you most of all that Jesus paid for, paid for our sins on the cross. And we thank you that very soon is coming back to take us home. So this morning we lift our hearts up to you. We give you all the praise, all the glory. We present every worshiper to you this morning. We ask that you will look down in our hearts and see our needs and grant them according to your will. Those who have burdens, those who have challenges, you said that we should lay all our cares upon you because you care for us we ask that you will take our cares take our fears take our challenges and take us as we are and glorify your name through us may this service be acceptable in your sight and may you be glorified in jesus name amen well praise the lord oasis happy sabbath to you i trust that you have had a wonderful wonderful week that God has been good to you as usual and that you are excited as you come to worship him this morning I want to extend a special greetings to our visiting friends wherever you are worshiping from we want to let you know that we appreciate you joining our service we want to extend a cordial welcome to brother and sister Mari over there in Jamaica. God has been good to them, especially in his medical challenges. Judy, Shirley, we want to give you a hail. We want to praise God for you. Yvonne, Patrick, we want to praise God for you. Uh, Sister Grant, we are so blessed because remember when we started, you were ill, but you're back with us again. So we praise God for you, and and we praise God for all those who have been challenged by illnesses. I want to give a special note of thanks to a very special couple, Elder and Sister Fair Cross. Since the 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 virus started, they have led the way in our communication with God. They have led the way first. They started with, with a 40-day prayer service. And we just want to let you know that Oasis have been strengthened. We have been fed. And we are so thankful to your ministry. I'm saying this because Elder Fearcloth is challenged by diverse medical issues and because of that she's not able to continue her leadership so she has asked to be to step aside so that she can recuperate and we want to thank her lovely husband for being there always and thank you again for your ministry we hope that as you recuperate then you will be you will be rejuvenated and ready to go back in the field as soldiers. We are commending you to our most prestigious and, and most effective hospital, Dr. Jesus, amen. Uh, we, we would like to remind you that the prayer service is going to be suspended because beginning on the 23rd 
uh, we are inviting everyone to join in the fall evangelism with Pastor Doug Batchelor. So we will not be having Wednesday night meetings. We will not be having uh, Friday evening Vespers and Sabbath evening Vespers. This series will be going on until November 20, November 20th. So every, every prayer service except for the morning worship, we will be joining with amazing facts as we we do our fall evangelism. Very important for it to be a success for Oasis. We have to first be registered. We have to register our family members, our friends, our acquaintances, and everyone. They, they, this is a great opportunity for people to get to know Jesus and to get to know that there is someone in control, even with what's happening today. We, 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 we are expecting that God will outpour His Holy Spirit, that as we invite people, people's hearts will be touched to come. Last week we heard a great testimony of what God has already started to do in the life of Sister Shirley Jackson and her family. She gave us a testimony of how God has softened the hearts of her children that as a family they are studying together. And if I'm not mistaken, she said that they have about six, seven people studying together. Sister Helen has given us the testimony too of how God has blessed her and her family and the numerous people that she's studying with. So it can be done, church. All we have to do is to pick up the phone, invite someone, register them, and follow up to make certain that they are attending the series. Our, our PM director says that the meeting starts at 8 p.m. So, so we will start on the 23rd of October, and it will go through until the 20th of November. Board members, well, before we get to that, I want to remind you that our service continues this afternoon. Our youth service begins at three. So we're expecting and we're inviting everyone to support our youth, our youth service at 3 p.m. today. Our uh, board members, please remember our scheduled board meeting. It will be Monday evening at 7.30 on our regular church Zoom channel. That's Monday evening at 7.30. And it's a very important board meeting. So please make certain that your schedule is free to attend it. That's Monday evening at 7.30. I want to thank all those who are involved in preparing for the communion. I want to thank the Fearcoffs for ordering the, 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 the supplies and for putting them together and, and the Blackwoods and the Daphnes and those who I don't know, I want to thank you all for, for preparing for communion and for making it such a wonderful, blessed worship service last Sabbath. Uh, today our speaker is none other than our beloved Pastor Carbon Crew. I want you to give him your undivided attention when he comes. I want to thank you, Pastor and Dr. Crew, for your ministry at Oasis, and we are looking forward to a word from God for you. May God bless you. Have a happy Sabbath, and I'll see you later. Boys and girls. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back. I hope you all enjoyed your Mother's Day. I did. It was very lovely. Oh. I heard Mr. The God of God. <laughs> I had Olive Garden just like he said. Mr. Rogers? Yes, Mr. Rogers. Oh. It was so good. Oh, fantastic. I'm glad you had a great time. Did you have a good Mother's Day? I had a fantastic Mother's Day. Thank good. you, Jimmy. What did you do? Well, don't worry about it now. We're going to go ahead and just get into our program. <laughs> so, you don't like talking often, I see. Yeah, I do, but we have a program today, and so we want to jump right into it. Yes, we do. 
We have a lot going on today. Well, Jimmy, why don't you announce the first part um, of our program, our Nature's Corner. Who's gonna do our Nature's Corner for today? Oh boy, we have a cool fella. His name is Morgan, and he's gonna talk to us about Dogs. Dogs, right? that's right. All Ooh. right. Well, let's go ahead and see what Morgan has to tell us today. Hi, Morgan. Hi, everyone. Say hi, Miles. I'm going to talk to you a little about my favorite animal. Dogs are my favorite animals. Dogs are my favorite animals because they're fun to play with, they're good at keeping people company, and they love you no matter what. And they're always happy to see you when you come home. Dogs are very smart animals. They're so smart that people have them not only for pets, but for other reasons. People use them for medical help as service animals. The police use them to help solve crimes, sniff out drugs, and find people who are missing. Hunters use them to help them while hunting. Dogs are also known to be loyal animals. My dog's name is Thor. Here's a picture of him. He doesn't live with us anymore because my mom didn't want a dog around the baby. So he lives with my grandma Lily and I miss him. Thor helped me in a lot of ways. For example, when I was scared at night, he would stay with me in bed and keep me company. I didn't feel scared when he was with me. I love doing things with him like going for walks, feeding him, bathing him, playing fetch, and letting him chase me. Dogs are very loyal animals. He was loyal to me. When I move out, Thor will be with me again. And I can't wait. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing some things about dogs. Bye. Boy, that was great, Morgan and Miles. Thank you. Yes, they had a lot of great stuff to talk about. They sure did. They even said how smart dogs were. But guess what? I'm smart too. Uh, yes, you are, Jimmy. Yeah, I was in Mrs. Blackwood's class, Sherry, and she was teaching me about addition, and she said two plus two equals five. I'm so smart. I'm oh. sure she did not tell you that. Yeah, she teaches a lot of great things. No, she that wouldn't the have told you that. Is flat, and it's so many okay, wonderful Jimmy, things. Okay, Jimmy, you weren't paying attention in class. Oh. So we're going to go ahead and continue on to our next segment because all of that is wrong. All right, so we're going to listen to our new start segment. And today we're talking about what, Jimmy? What are we talking about? Sunshine! Yes, you sunshine! You are sunshine! Yes! I love the sunshine! And guess who's you going to present that to us? Jimmy! What skies are blue? Jimmy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what was that? Where's that voice coming from? <gasps> well, oh, wow. <laughs> I'm hearing things. Did you hear that too? I heard that. Wow. All right. Sound like my mama. But we're going to talk about sunshine, and Maya and Zion are going to give us our lesson today. Maya and Zion. Yes, cool take days. it away. some benefits from it. Like what? Well, one benefit is we get increased vitamin D and that reduces inflammation. We got improves, improved mood, which happens when the serotonin is released from your body. You get better quality sleep and that happens when the melatonin and the serotonin are released from your body and they mix and then it causes you to be drowsy. You get stronger bones, and that happens when your body absorbs vitamin D from the sun, causing your bones to get stronger. And then you have um, lower blood pressure, and the lower blood pressure happens when the, nat the nitro oxide um, is released from your body, and that help that reduces the chance of you getting cardiac disease or a stroke. Wow. You have a lot of information. We also need to remember to put on sunscreen and wear our protective wear on our eyes. Wow, that is so interesting. Thank you, Zion and Maya, for just educating us on the benefits of sunshine. Yeah, and 
I learned a lot of different things, how the sun is healthy for you, and we get the vitamins that we need. That's right. Yeah, and when I go outside, I love the sun. It's good for my beautiful green skin. Yes. Oh, I can just soak in it all day long. Well, I'm glad, Jimmy. Ooh. Well, next, we have a special presentation. Do we? Yes, by our very own Oasis Kids. What are they gonna be doing? Well, you have to wait and see. It's just a special presentation, and I can't wait for you all to see what they have to present today. Yes. that the young children gave us today. So proud of you all. So yes. we're gonna go ahead and close out. We have a special surprise. Wait, 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 wait. I got a special surprise just for you. Okay. Are you gonna ask what it is? I'm afraid to ask, but well, what is it? Guess what? I was just relaxing the other day and I got a phone call 
for somebody and they say they love me. So if they decided, hold on, wait. Oh. Woo! Look at that. Hold on. I, got, I, got, I have my arms. You laughed at me last time, but through my mouth. Look, 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 look. I have my own Jimmy Snacks. Yay! Oh, zoom in, boy. zoom in. Look, look, look. Okay. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, that is great, Jimmy. That he was is, very nice that someone good. went through that uh, trouble blessing. to do that. He is. He's blessed me. So, but are they healthy? Looks that's like chocolate and okay. peanut butter. I think we got to finish our show. Okay, but I think it goes against uh, what we've okay. been talking okay. about. Let's finish our show. Let's yeah. go. I think you've been eating those, matter of fact, Ooh. especially today because you're, you're extremely hyper. I'm just happy because I want to dance. Well, I let's go ahead dance. and announce who's praying today. So let's go ahead and announce who's closing out in prayer. Today we have praying is Mr. Chase. Yeah. He's so studious. All I right. like talking to him. All right, Chase, go ahead and close us out in prayer. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, please bless our family and friends. Keep us safe. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Chase. That was such a beautiful prayer. Yes, it was. All right, boys and girls. Until next time, you all have a blessed week. And hug your mommies and daddies, aunts and uncles, grandpas and grandmas, and you guys just enjoy. But until hey, then, don't we'll forget see you. your Jimmy Sacks! Yay! Jimmy Sacks! There are two ways you can use the Adventist Giving Platform. The first one is online. Go to www.adventistgiving.org. Once you get to the welcome page, you will see an input field where you can type the name of your church. Once you begin typing the name of the church, a drop-down menu will appear with a short list of churches that best match your entry. It is very important that you select the correct church. One way to verify if you have the correct church is by the address shown. Once you select the church, you will be taken to the donation page that resembles the familiar tithe envelopes you see in church each week. Here, you will see the areas that you can choose to designate your monies for, such as tithe, local church budget, Sabbath school expenses, etc. The virtual envelope is separated by sections for local church, conference and union, and world. At the bottom of each section, you will see the phrase more offering categories. Here, you can click and a pop-up window will display a list of other options for you to select to add to your virtual tithe envelope. Once you are done, you click the Back to Envelope button. Once you make your selections of where you want to donate, you input the amount next to the dollar symbol by each specific area. If you choose more than one category, it will automatically total your donation at the bottom of the page. Once you are finished designating your funds, click Continue. This will take you to the next page, where you will have the option to log in, register, or continue as a guest to make your donation. We recommend registering if you are a first-time user. That way, your profile information and payment will be saved to make it easier for future use. The second method you can give online is through the Adventist Giving app via your smartphone. First, you must download the Adventist Giving app from the App Store or Google Play. Once you do, open the app. The initial page will tell you more about Adventist giving and the features of the app. You will be prompted to slide to the right until you see the option to select your church. Once you select your church, you will see the options with the same sections and categories as the website. The main difference is that at the top, just below your listed church, you will see the option for a one-time donation or a recurring donation, which you can select to set up automatic payments. Follow the instructions and input where you would like your monies to go, and the total will be automatically calculated at the end, just like the website. Continue to follow the instructions listed and you will be on your way to successfully donate it via the ease of your smartphone. For a list of frequently asked questions, please visit 
floridaconference.com forward slash Adventist giving. Jesus Christ because he's worthy to be praised in fact you know some somehow I believe that today I'm feeling a little uh, I'm missing church I feel like I want to preach today uh, but I might not be able to get a chance to do as I want to do but let us go we want to praise God anyhow first I'm going to ask you to just bow your heads with me because I'm going straight to the word Father, in the name of Jesus, the mighty name, the powerful name, the all-forgiving name of Jesus Christ, we come to just thank you for this another Sabbath. We come to lift up your name, O God, because you're worthy in spite of all that is happening. We bless your name. As we open now your word, we ask that Jesus Christ may fill our lips with his holy word. 
May these words reach the heart of your people. Make them ready for your eternal salvation. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading earlier on comes from the book of Luke chapter 4. I'm just going to read it again. I'm going to read a few verses from Luke chapter 4. The Bible says in chapter 33, Luke chapter 4, And in the synagogue there was a man which had a spirit of an unclean devil. And he cried out with a loud voice. Verse 34 is saying, let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the midst, he came out of him and hurt him not. Verse 36. And they were all amazed and spake among themselves, saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power he commanded the unclean spirit, and they came out. Praise the name of the Lord. Today my topic is entitled, going to church with the devil or the devil going to church according to the scripture we read Jesus was traveling in the region of Capernaum in a city of Galilee where he came to a synagogue on the Sabbath day on the Sabbath day which is supposed to be a day of rest and restoration. Supposed to be a day of peace and tranquility. We here see that the devil was in church. How could this Sabbath be nice? How could this Sabbath be good? How could we have peace in this Sabbath when a man was in church and the devil was with him. In the synagogue, on the Sabbath, was a man. In the man was a devil. The devil came to church on the Sabbath day. I wonder sometimes if church can be exciting and spiritually uplifting when individuals come to church and they come to church with a devil you know the bible says that that the devil came and the devil started speaking but how do we know that the devil was speaking well according to luke chapter 4 verse 33 the bible said and i continue from where i left off and he cried with a loud voice, maybe a disturbing voice. Verse 34, saying, let us alone. I want you to take note of the pronouns here. In verse 34, we hear the devil saying, let us alone. What have we to do with thee? Art thou come to destroy us? The devil was speaking to a man who had come to church. The man must have given the devil something, some leverage, some authority to come to church with him. Notice, notice, notice some of the things that the devil said. The devil said, Art thou come to destroy us? The devil knows nothing about healthy church going. 
In fact, John chapter 10, verse 10 says, referring to the thief, and the thief here is the devil, the thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Hath thou come to destroy us? Who are you to be speaking on behalf of a man who came to church? The devil continues in Luke chapter 4, verse 34. And I read, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know whom thou art, the Holy One of Israel. So he uses we and us, speaking on behalf of the man in whom he was lingering. And then when all of a sudden he started speaking on behalf of himself. I know whom you are. Yes, the devil knows who Jesus is because he was as a Lucifer, as a great angel in heaven with Jesus. So he knew Jesus, having possessed this man, having gone into the inner, the inner recesses of this man. He was able to take full control of the man, talking about we and us, and then all of a sudden, he turned away from talking about we and us. And now he started saying, I know, I know who you are. This is the old serpent speaking. I know who you are. Speaking through the man. Coming to church on Sabbath with a devil and allowing the devil so much leverage that now he is speaking on your behalf. Sometimes we give the devil too much authority. In fact, we give him a little and he takes what he wants. We need to make sure that we give the devil no authority at all in our lives. Because if we give him a little, my old folk would say, give him a little, he takes a muckle. A muckle is much bigger than a little. And so here he was speaking on behalf of the man. You can understand why church sometimes is as it is. Because when individuals come to church, they expect to come to church to worship. But instead, sometimes individuals come to church with the devil. And instead of worship, we have all kind of problems in church. Sad situation, but that is so true. Maybe I should speak on behalf of those who are new in church. That church is not always a place of sweetness, peace, and tranquility. Because sometimes individuals allow the devil to come to church with them. And the sweetness and the joy, the peace, all that was supposed to be a blessing to you, you leave sometimes church going home wondering why did I go to church today? When we go to church, our words ought to be words of encouragement, words of peace, words of hope, words of joy. We are to bless others' lives as we ourselves are being blessed. And notice something here. The Bible says that when Jesus saw what was happening, 
Jesus rebuked the devil, verse 35 of chapter 4, Luke. Jesus rebuked the devil and said, Hold thy peace. If Jesus had not commanded the devil to hold his peace, he might have done this man great harm because he did it sometimes before. How do you know? Let's go to the book of Mark chapter 9. Matthew, Mark. I did say Mark. Mark chapter 9. Those of you who have your Bibles, in fact, when you, when you come to worship, you ought to carry your Bibles. So here we have in Mark chapter 9, and I read from verse 17. You ask me, how do I know if the devil would have hurt the man if Jesus had not commanded him to hold his peace? The Bible says that in, in Mark chapter 9, that there were some individuals called disciples who went with Jesus on the mount to worship. While they were at the, wor at the worship session in, in, in the mount, some of his disciples were at the feet of the mount. And somehow there was a man who brought a boy hope that the disciples would have the same amount of power as Jesus to bring healing to their son. But verse, nine, verse 18 of Mark chapter 9 says, and, we, and wheresoever he taketh him, talking about the devil, the dumb devil. You know what? Let me read from verse 17. And one of the multitude answered and said as Jesus was coming down the hill I have brought unto thee my son which had a dumb spirit dumb spirit devil spirit evil spirit all of them are bad spirit verse 18 and wheresoever he taketh him talking about the spirit he teareth him and he foameth he foameth and gnasheth his teeth and pineth away and I spake to thy disciple that they should cast him out, and they, the disciples, could not. I told you that over in Luke, if Jesus had not said in Luke chapter 4, verse 35, Hold thy peace, speaking to the devil, he might have hurt this man also. How do I know? Because verse 20 of Mark chapter 9 says, that when they brought the man or the boy to Jesus, when he saw him, talking about the devil seeing Jesus, straightway the devil tore him and he fell on the ground and was wallowing in his foam, the foam that came from his mouth. This is the same thing I believe that the old serpent was trying to do with this man over here. In the book of Luke. But Jesus commanded him, Hold thy peace and come out of him. You know, my beloved brothers and sisters, no matter what situation we are experiencing, when Jesus appears, when Jesus comes on the scene, no matter how the devil is trying to rail in our lives, if we ask Jesus, Jesus can give us that peace. Yes, the spirit, it tear at the young man. It threw him down on the ground. The Bible said he fell on the ground. He wallowed in his froth or the froth that formed from his mouth. The devil cast him. If you read a little further, the devil cast him even into fire. They cast him into water. According to Luke chapter 22, sorry, Mark chapter, chapter 9, verse 22. So, so the devil is capable of hurting you when you allow him to be a part of your life. He's not there to make you good. He's, he, you may feel good for a while, 
but he's dear to destroy you. Church. A place where there was supposed to be joy, sweetness, contentment, excitement, holy excitement. But the devil walked in, disrupted the Sabbath service, and was about to destroy this young man. But Jesus, praise God, but Jesus said, peace, hold thy peace, and come out of him. Let me tell you something. The devil will try to destroy. Yes, as I said earlier on, he's here to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But we are told that when the devil comes, we are to rebuke him. Rebuke him as Jesus was able to rebuke him. And keep in mind, devil, get out of God's church. That was a command made by Jesus. Because Jesus said in Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, you will never be able to destroy my church even though you come upon this rock. Not speaking about Peter. Upon this rock will I build my church. I will build my church upon myself. Hallelujah. Upon this rock will I build my church and the gates of hell and all the hosts of hell will never be able to destroy God's church. And if, if the devil will not be able to destroy God's church and you are a part of God's church, the devil will not be able to destroy you. When we go to church, make sure that we make void our heart of anything that is evil. Make sure we fill our heart with the sweetness of Jesus Christ and Him only, so that the devil will have no place in our hearts when we come to church. So if the devil should come to church, let him come by himself. You, don't allow the devil to come with you. Because he will embarrass you. And he will cause you harm. The major purpose for the devil was to destroy the church. But praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are told by Jesus Christ that the gates of hell can never, will never be able to prevail against his church. So here's my invitation to those of you who are afraid of coming to church. Come to church and seek Jesus. Seek he the Lord while he may be found. Call he upon him while he is near. All the wicked can forsake their ways, and the unrighteous man can forget and forsake his thought and come to church. Because at church there is peace. The song said, When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast caused me to say, it is well, it will be well with my soul. 
May God bless you as you come to church. Church might not be in the building. Church might be on Zoom with the rich of God's, with the, uh, the, the others of God's children. And He is ready to give you that peace. Hold your peace, O serpent. Come out of Him. Oh, read the rest of the passage. What a joy this man had when he gave his life over to Jesus. Again, the song says that you will have peace in your soul. You will have joy in your soul. You will have contentment in your soul when you come to church and find Jesus. God bless you. John saw a city that could not be hid. John saw a city. Oh, yes, he did. John caught a glimpse of the golden throne. Tell me all about it. Go right on around the throne. He saw the crystal sea. There's got to be more. What will it be? I want to go to that city he saw, New Jerusalem, Jerusalem, cause I want to walk the streets that are cold, cold and bad. and I want to run where the angels have tried. Jerusalem Cause I want to rest On the banks of the river In that city oh, yeah. City of God John saw the lion Laying down by the lamb I, I want, want to know everything About that, that John saw the day But he did not see night The Lamb of God Well, he must be the light He saw the saints worship The great I am Crying worthy, worthy is that Lamb Cause I want to go City he saw New Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Cause I want to walk the streets that are gold, golden, and, and I want to run where the angels have tried, Jerusalem. In that city, city of God. Let's sing it all together. Everybody time. sing it. Jerusalem. 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 Sing for the night.
the streets that are cold Oh then, then, then I want to run Where the angels of trust Jerusalem Yes, I want to rest On the banks of your river In that city Thank you, Pastor Crew. Thank you so much for the powerful, timely, and uh, well-needed message from God. We just want to praise God for you and your family. Thank you so much again. Oasis would like to thank everyone for worshiping with us today, wherever you worship from, through whatever medium you worship through. We want you to know that we appreciate you, and we thank you. Thank you so much for worshiping with us today. Please remember that our service continues with our youth service this afternoon at 3 and we're looking forward to seeing you. So once again thank you for worshiping with us today. May God bless you, stay safe and keep trusting in God.